Then suddenly realize you cannot sit down because you've lost your butt. You have no butt. Right, you can return to your chair. As he returns to his chair, I want to uh, explain to you folks a little bit about what you're seeing tonight. This is what we call stage hypnosis. Now, stage hypnosis, we... Embarrassing, right? <laughs> well, he's hypnotized over 27,000 people, and his Las Vegas show is running on eight years. And now his gift can help you shed the pounds. Hallelujah. Please welcome Dr. Scott Lewis to Great Day SA. Dr. Lewis, thank, you, thank you for being here. I want to mention right off the bat that you are a chiropractic physician. You come with medical expertise and this kind of thing. But I've got to ask you how you first got involved in hypnosis. You know, actually, I was going to school in San Diego, and there was a hypnotist there who did a comedy show, much the same like I do now. And I thought that was the most magical thing I'd ever right. seen. I didn't do anything with it. I became a chiropractor, and I started counseling patients uh, to, that wanted to lose weight uh, to help with lower back pain. Okay. But they were not able to take the pounds off. And it was part of it was because I was overweight myself. I was 41 pounds overweight. Wow. And I discovered medical hypnosis. I learned it. I lost the weight myself, and then I started. And so yeah. So you thought. If this worked for me, this can probably work for a lot of people who've tried everything, and now this is the way. So we're going to talk in just a minute about how you go through some of those principles of helping people lose weight. But first, can you distinguish for us what is the difference between what you describe as clinical hypnosis versus what we see on the stage in Vegas? Yeah, it's a great question because there's a lot of misconceptions about it. Uh, clinical, well, stage hypnosis is more for fun. It's right. entertainment. We're having a good time. I'll make some of Britney Spears or Victoria's Secret models. Uh, stage or clinical hypnosis is not not as showy. Their eyes are closed. They're just very relaxed. You don't have to act or out or anything. You're just very focused and concentrating. Now, talk to us if you can, Dr. Lewis, about some of the misconceptions. Because I remember in our office when this whole idea came up, everybody's like, "Oh, can you really? You know, how legitimate is it? What are the misconceptions about hypnosis?" I think the most popular one is that people think it's mind control. That you're going to be made to do something against your will. They see the evil hypnotist on TV or uh, movies that controlling someone's mind. Absolutely not true. You cannot uh, have your mind controlled at all. You're always aware of what's going on. You, just... you do. You're also you're all, and you can't stay in a state of hypnosis, can you? You? No, that's no. another fear. You can't yeah. get stuck in a hypnotic trance. Yeah. Hypn but I'd imagine if you get stuck in the idea that you are a Victoria's Secret model, that'd be a nice place to be stuck in. For you know, some right? people, yeah. Just walk in every room thinking you own the room. I want to talk about weight loss and how you apply it to uh, th these principles of being hypnotized. You call it SMART. Smart system, yes. Okay. Um, it's, and I talk about being the smartest loser as opposed to being the biggest, biggest loser. Right, yeah. yeah, because it's a wonderful show. They're doing wonderful things, but some people may think they want, need to take off so much weight um, that they start to lose muscle, and you want to keep your muscle. So I'm talking okay. about things that will keep you smart, uh, smartly losing weight. First thing is you need to have a strong personal reason for doing something. Uh, you, all of us have known somebody that's had to lose weight for an upcoming reunion or a wedding, right. and they're able to lose the weight. But as soon as the event passes, they then put, it's they're off the plan. They put it back on. Yeah, they've lost that compelling reason. Okay. Up until that time, they've had that. You say mindful eating for M. And for mindful eating, yes. You want so many of us eat too many calories out of big bags. The bigger portion you eat out of, like a popcorn tub or a big bag, um, it's very easy to eat a lot. They've done studies, and you'll eat 40 percent more calories out of a larger container. So using smaller containers uh, works. Always much works. Yeah. You say archive your intake. Write it down. Keep a journal. Exactly. Again, it's keeping the focus. A lot of us forget how much we tend to eat, so if we write it down, we'll be reminded. Okay. The R in SMART is? R is respect and protect your body. This is a wonderful technique developed by two Stanford medical doctors, and now you'll actually be seeing it with some of the hypnosis Good. I'm doing. All right. And T, you say trust. T is to trust. Trust that you're going to be okay. Don't, if you break your diet, don't put it off till next Monday or next month. Just keep going with it. Uh, you can put on a ton of weight by forgetting to do that. So, so I'd imagine you, you've had a lot of success stories with people who've used the hip, hypnotic procedure uh, to lose weight. Have they maintained it and, and kept it off? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it works. It locks it in the forefront of your mind really? so you're able to make It's just a different way of looking at eating and eating behavior. That's yeah. fantastic. Now, later in the show, you are actually going to hypnotize the folks. Tell us what we can expect to see uh, you do with them. What are some of the things you're Well, like? it's not going to be showy like Vegas, but they're going to be oh, very relaxed. Yeah, yeah that's I'm not okay. Gonna, hey, unless that's you okay. want me to make someone into Britney or. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what, can, what, can, what can we expect to see? 
They're going to be very relaxed. You'll see a very focused state. And I'm also going to be using some hand signals with them, and you'll, you'll see. Yeah. <laughs> and people seem to be, do you have to really be receptive to it, Dr. Lewis, to begin with, believing that you can be hypnotized? Is that an important part of it? That's the most important thing. You have to be willing to be hypnotized. Yeah. Because are there people who go into it thinking they can't and, and they aren't? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Most people can be hypnotized clinically. Stage hypnosis, they have to want to. Yeah. So if you're willing and you have an IQ of over 60, you do great. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you, you have something that you've brought here? Um, actually, you know, it's just what I... One of the ideas I have with my patients is I tell them, like, if they have a pair of jeans okay. or an article of clothing that they used to fit into, yeah. to put that around the house. Put things that they used to fit into that they constantly... Visual put, reminders. Visual reminders, exactly. As long as you keep that at the forefront of your mind, you're able to make these changes. Okay, I see, um, something, I see something in here that I recognize. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah what, tell us about this. Well, you know how many calories are in this bag? No, I don't. There's 1,800 calories, and it's very easy to mindlessly eat from a big bag. This is what I'm talking about. The larger container, they've done studies and they found that people can eat up 40% more calories from larger containers. So the wonderful thing is they have these new snack packs. These are 100 calories each. Oh, those are cute. And these work for two reasons. One is what we call the barrier effect. Anytime you need to open a package, you need to, it's a pause point. You think about if you want that additional food. So you're going to ah, eat less by I having gotcha. to do that. I got gotcha. you. Okay, well, stick around because you're going to okay. be here later in the show. I cannot wait to see what you're going to do. In the meantime, if you are interested in the Hypno Diet by Dr. Scott Lewis, this is how you get more information. Hypnodiet.com, kens5.com slash great day. That website will take you to everything you need to know about how to get started, how to lose the weight, and how to maintain it. Dr. Lewis, we'll see you later in the Thanks, show. Thanks, Bridget. You're going to open those? Don't forget, we've got people who are getting ready to be hypnotized, getting ready to fall under your spell. This takes a process, so this is why you're going to be working with them throughout the show, because right. there is a whole mental process that needs to happen before they actually go under your hypnosis. So we'll check back with them later. Welcome back, everybody. Well, Dr. Scott Lewis is here. He's a hypnotist. He's done stage hypnotism, clinical hypnotism. We're glad to have him. Now, look, we asked for volunteers to be a part of this, and you've got some very willing and able candidates. And, and just give us an idea of, of what we're going to see here. You're actually going to be see, seeing a clinical hypnosis process. Okay. This is different from what I do on the stage. This is for therapeutic benefit. So you'll be able to see all of these people did wonderfully in our pre-work. So. Okay. And yeah. so kind of what was the thing that you took them through? Questions or, or just seeing if they were mentally ready to? Yeah, mainly removing any myths and misconceptions because okay. a lot of people have fear about that. Okay. So they so, are open-minded and I think they'll be great. Okay. I think we have some others that we, we want to call in. Two more people who were in our green room and who also uh, want to go through this process. We're glad to have you. Give them a round of applause. They're going to do this on TV. We're going to do this on TV. So when you're ready, Dr. Lewis, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, excellent. All right. All right. So what I need everyone to do is looking at me right now. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, just think the word relax. Hold it. Let it out. As you let it out, just allow any tension or stress to leave your bodies. Take another deep breath in, thinking the word relax. Hold it. Let it out. Again, as you let it out, just allow any tension or stress to leave your bodies. The moment I snap my fingers, close your eyes. Close your eyes right now. And with your eyes closed, I want you to focus on your breathing, going deeper and deeper down. The deeper you let yourselves go, the better you will feel. Everybody open your eyes again. Open your eyes. Looking at me, close your eyes again. As you close your eyes, whatever level you're at of relaxation, I want you to imagine you're doubling that level right now, going deeper and deeper down. The deeper you let yourselves go, the better you feel. Everybody open your eyes. Open your eyes. Looking at me, close your eyes one more time, relaxing even more than before. Excellent. Moment, I'm going to have you open your eyes. I'm going to be coming around meeting you as I meet you. I'm either going to touch your forehead, shake your hand, or say the word sleep. You'll immediately close your eyes, relax completely, and return to this wonderful state of deep relaxation. Catherine, you're going to open your eyes, feeling wonderful. One, two, three, eyes open. Everyone looking at me. Perfect. What is your name, sir? Alex. Doing good, Alex. Just look at me. Just sleep all the way down. Alex, you are? Gary. Doing great, Gary. Just sleep, Gary. All the way down. Perfect. You are? Richard. Richard, doing great. Just sleep, Richard. Perfect. Deep down, deep down. You are? Michael. Michael, just sleep. Michael, just let yourself drop. Excellent. Excellent. You are? I'm Virginia. Virginia, doing great. Sleep all the way down, Virginia. And Edie. Edie. Excellent. Just sleep, Edie. All the way down. Excellent. Everyone going deeper and deeper down with each and every breath you take, feeling absolutely wonderful. What I want you to do right now, I want you to raise one of your hands into the air, halfway into the air. You'll find you're able to just lift one of your hands halfway into the air. 
you'll find you're able to do this. I want you to make a fist with that hand, make a fist with that hand, and as you make a fist with that hand, I want you to imagine right now that that arm is becoming stiff and rigid as a steel bar. Stiff and rigid as a steel bar. The more you focus, the more you concentrate, the more stiff, the more rigid that arm becomes. As I touch your wrist, you'll feel that arm become even more stiff, even more rigid. Excellent. Even more stiff, rigid. Excellent. Stiff, rigid. Perfect. Stiff and rigid. Excellent. Stiff right here. Doing great. Stiff and strong right here. Excellent. I'm going to come around and touch your wrist as I do. That wrist will drop loose and limply into your lap. You'll go even deeper than you are right now. Just relax. Yes, you're doing great. Relax right here. Excellent. Relax right here. Doing wonderful. Relax all the way down. Deep down. Deep down. Relax right here. Excellent concentration. Relax right here. Perfect. What I want each and every one of you to do right now, I want you to get in your mind your image of you being at your ideal weight. Whatever that is for you, I want you to get that image in your mind of you being at your ideal weight. What would you be wearing? How would you feel? How does it feel here in compliments being at that weight? Just get a strong, powerful image of you being at that ideal weight right now, whether it's to look your best, to feel your best. And I want you to sit up in your chair right now as if you were that ideal weight. Sit up in that chair, feel the confidence of being at that weight in your mind. Breathe as you'd breathe having that body, relaxing more and more, and really feel excited about being at this weight. I want you to take one of your fists right now, close it into, close one of your fists right now as you close that fist. I want you to link this feeling of being at your ideal weight right now with a simple gesture of closing your fist. Anytime you wish to bring back these feelings of motivation for being at your ideal weight, you'll be able to close your fist, you'll be able to come throughout your entire body. You'll be motivated. You'll choose the foods that slim you down. You'll feel full on smaller portions of food. You'll eat very carefully. You'll eat knowing that you'll eat as if the food it tasted as good as you want it to be. You'll stop eating when it stops tasting absolutely delicious. You'll be very focused on your eating. You'll also eat as a gourmet. You'll chew your food very thoroughly. You'll enjoy the flavors. And you'll also remember that nothing tastes as being thin feels. Nothing tastes as good as being thin feels. You'll be very, very motivated to accomplish your goals. At count five, I'm going to help have you open your eyes. You're going to feel absolutely wonderful. You'll feel very motivated. You'll feel wonderful about your process here today. And you'll always keep in mind this image of you being at your ideal weight. Also, from this point on, you will look at your body as if it were an innocent, trusting, small child. As if your body were an innocent, trusting, small child that depends upon you for its nourishment and its responsibility. You see, if you choose to feed your body foods that are fatty, foods that are high calorie, if you overeat, you're not treating your body with respect and protection. Much the same as if you were looking after an innocent child that depends upon you for its nourishment and survival. You will treat your body the same way. You will treat your body from this point on with complete respect and protection. In fact, I want you to say that after me right now. I respect and protect my body. 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 As you continue to say that, I respect and protect my body. Get these powerful images of you being at that ideal weight, feeling absolutely wonderful, reaching your goals. I respect and protect my body. I respect and protect my body. Excellent. I'm going to count from five to one. When I reach your number one, you'll open your eyes. You'll feel awake, alert, refreshed. You'll be very excited. You'll find that it's very, very easy to change your eating habits and behaviors, and you'll be able to reach your goals by keeping this focus at the forefront of your mind. So at number five, become aware of any sounds that you can hear. The sound of your own voice is perhaps you're thinking things to yourself, the sound of my voice, the sound of the music in the studio. To the number four, where anything you can see with your eyes closed, perhaps your eyes are fluttering a bit as they prepare to open, starting to feel more and more awake, more and more refreshed. To the number three, aware that you're in a studio. To the number two, starting to feel more and more awake, more and more refreshed. You're going to feel absolutely wonderful. Number one, you're going to open your eyes. There'll be a big round of applause for your wonderful ability to focus and concentrate. One, eyes open, everybody. Eyes open. Eyes open. Eyes open. Doing great. Give these guys a big round of applause. They did great. Excellent job, guys. Dr. Lewis, thank you. Dr. Lewis, one more time for Dr. Lewis. Dr. Lewis, let me ask you this. Yes. So how, how deep of a trance do, do they go in? Because I noticed one or two people who had trouble coming out of yeah, whatever. Yeah, there's different I levels. Some go a lot deeper. You saw a couple of them went way deep and some went lighter trance. So there's yeah. different levels. Everyone responds differently. Yeah, and so this group did pretty good for being, I mean, because how, how much of a distraction is the live element? The TV, the lights, the Yeah, sound? some people are afraid to be on camera and that there's an audience, so I think they did wonderful okay, concentrating. Good. But yeah. in a private session, this could probably even have greater benefit. How does everybody feel?
Right? right? Okay. This is the Hypno Diet by Dr. Scott Lewis. If you'd like to get for more information, here it is. Hypnodiet.com, Kens5.com slash great day. On three, one, two, everybody's gonna go to sleep. One, two, three, and drop your eyes. You're feeling sleepy. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Let's go to sleep, Gary. We'll be right back.